Hello, this is a video to show you how to use the uh, custom net radiation function or macro to calculate daily net radiation from coagmet data. So the first thing I did was download an Excel sheet uh, from Canvas called NetRad Macro 4 2017. And you can see that across the top I already have the coagmet headers. Okay, so what I my first step is to download the raw data from coagmet to use. So I'm going to go to coagmet, go down to raw data access. In this example, I'm going to use um, La Junta. I'm going to use 2016 uh, starting on April 1st and um, going down to the end of October. Okay, uh, that all looks okay. I want daily data. And submit, and there's all the raw data. Again, we hit Control A to select it all. Control C to copy it. Go back to my spreadsheet up to the upper left corner, hit Control V to paste. Now we need to get this into column format, recall, so we go to Data, Text to Columns. It's delimited. We want to check Tab and Comma. It's OK, Finish, and there we have it. All our data now is in the normal format, all the columns seem to be lining up. Now if we recall, one of the things that we need when we calculate daily net radiation is the day of year. That is, we have to convert this calendar date into a day of year, right? So this is going to be, what, a little over 90, right, in a day of year format. So I'm going to insert a new column, go to Home, Insert, and I'm going to call that day of year. So what we need now is a function to convert this date into a day of year. Now I put a little help screen over here that shows you the format right down here at the bottom um, that will convert that. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my data, and paste this in here with Control V. And you can see it did it. It converted. April 1st into day of year 92. I can click on that, double click the little square in the right hand corner and now I've got all my day of year information. Okay, that was essential because that was something that we needed um, to calculate day of year or to calculate net radiation, excuse me. So now I'm ready to calculate net radiation. I'm going to go out to the end of my sheet, create a new column, RN, And now I'm ready to call the net radiation function. Okay, back to the help screen. I show you an example usage where we're this is you call this function rnet. Now this function rnet is a custom macro built into the sheet that I wrote. So, but to call it, you have to tell it which columns the data is in. So the order of inputs are day of year, latitude, elevation, albedo global irradiance, maximum air temperature, minimum air temperature, and vapor pressure. All right, and that's what it's being called here all across in this exact same order. Okay, so I'm going to, it turns out I've got this all ready to go for coagmet data. So I can just go back to the data sheet and paste this in here. And it generated a net radiation of 10 megajoules per meter squared per day. Now, the only problem with this is these default uh, latitudes and elevations are not those for La Junta. Okay, so I need to change those. So previously I got on Google and looked up the latitude and elevation for La Junta. And so I'm going to change that to 
0.98 degrees for La Junta, and it's not quite as high as Fort Collins. It's about 1,243 meters. And my albedo, global radiance, maximum temperature, everything else I need. There we go. It caused a really small change. But if you want to verify this, notice the key calls here are N2, E2, G2, and I2. If we look over here, E2 was the maximum temperature, G2 was the minimum temperature, I was the vapor pressure, and then solar radiance is in N. Those are the key ones. Okay. So, um, just what we needed. Four variables all together. Remember maximum temp, vapor pressure, and radiation. So now that I have net radiation calculated for that column, I can just do the old double click there and we can see it creates all the net radiation values for the whole year. We can take a quick look at that. We can plot it as um, date time holding down my control key. Got both of those columns selected now. Go to insert, chart, on a line chart, and there we can see it. So it's looking pretty good already. We can see that seasonal pattern we expect. I'm going to move it. I'm going to right click it and move the chart to a new sheet. Now I have a nice look at the net radiation. And I can go ahead and for, do a quick layout on this if I want to. Something like um, add the titles. And I can start putting in my units. In this case, it's RN. And the, meter, the units are megajoules per meters squared per day. And always want your units. And this is the date. Kind of obvious. And we'd probably want to put something up here like net radiation. La Hunta, Colorado, 2016. All right, there we have it. And if you want to, you can get rid of your right click on that and delete the legend. You really don't need it in this case. And now you've got your plot and that's what you need um, uh, to work the homework assignment and just set you up for calculating reference crop evapotranspiration later. So that's the procedure to um, uh, do that. Now remember those calculations that are doing the net radiation, you can go look at those under the developer tab um, and, uh, under macros or actually you have to look under visual basic and under visual basic you'll be able to see all the formulas if you would like to that were used in calculating net radiation if that was something you were interested in. Okay, So that's where the code is hidden. All right, that's how you calculate daily net radiation from COAGMET data.